Today on Animal Fact Files, we're talking about spiny orb weavers. You can smack that subscribe button to stay up to date on new animal episodes. Moto Toy Trains requested these hellish looking creatures, so let's get right into it. If you aren't a fan of spiders, this episode may be nightmare fuel for you. But these spiders are relatively harmless to humans, so there's some consolation in that. I mean, sure, they might look like they want to stab you with those spikes while you're sleeping, but that probably won't happen. Truth be told, spiny orb weavers aren't even all that big. Most of them are wider than they are long, and of course the males are super tiny since that just seems to be a trend in the spider world. And if you compare spiny orb weavers to, say, goliath bird eaters in terms of size, well, then the spiny orb weavers don't seem quite so intimidating. Plus, a lot of spiny orb weavers are really just timid, and the ones that aren't don't really do much damage. So they might look like they want to eat your children, but really they just want to eat bugs. True to their name, spiny orb weavers construct orb-shaped webs. They'll catch flies, moths, beetles, and other insects in the sticky silk. Some spiny orb weavers might even group with members of the same species and create webs that are somewhat shared. This has both pros and cons. On one hand, the spiders don't have to work as hard at creating their own web, since they can use parts of the webs of their neighbors. But on the other hand, their eggs may also become more vulnerable to parasites. Either in an aggregation or when solitary, egg sacs can fall victims to flies and other spiders. Adult spiny orb weavers may be afforded some protection from predators due to their small size and spiky protrusions, but they are taken by wasps and other spiders as well. Jumping spiders are especially diabolical. In one report, a jumping spider tickled the outer edge of a spiny orb weaver's web to attract the spider into striking distance. It did not end well for the spiny orb weaver. Apparently they can't see very well, which is surprising considering they are some of the most conspicuous spiders walking around. Spiny orb weavers are typically found in tropical areas throughout Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas. They enjoy forests with lots of shrubs for easy web building, and, depending on what you specifically count as a quote, spiny orb weaver, since common names don't really mean much scientifically, there are somewhere around 100 species. They come in pointy, pokey shapes that hit just about every color in the spectrum. The males don't usually have as largely pronounced spines as the females, which is probably for the best because mating is probably difficult enough with one set of spikes in the web. After mating, the males don't live very long, and the females perish after laying their eggs. The egg sac she creates can be just as splendid as she is, though. She'll typically attach it to the underside of a leaf, and she'll use different colored thread, such as yellow and green, to make sure it sticks. There can be more than 200 eggs inside the sack, and it will typically take them two weeks to hatch, and then another two to five weeks before finding their own place in the world. Also, supposedly these spiders shouldn't exist. A study found that they have a 19-hour circadian rhythm, which is basically an animal's internal clock. Research has shown that animals with a natural circadian rhythm that doesn't match the typical 24-hour day cycle on Earth tend to have problems with the health of their offspring. But apparently spiny orb weavers don't care what science has to say, because they just keep doing their thing. For more facts on spiny orb weavers, check out the links in the description. Did you learn something new today? Be sure to give a thumbs up for awesome arachnids, and we'll see you next time on Animal Fact Files.